political junkies like me, election night is like Christmas, even if it's just the primary. All of the anticipation comes down to one day and who wins. There are obvious winners, candidates like Ted Budd, Chuck Edwards, and Sherry Beasley. But I've got some additional winners and things to watch for in the next few weeks and months. Let's start with the winners. Senator Tom Tillis, he put his reputation and political capital on the line to help well-respected State Senator Chuck Edwards win the 11th Congressional District Republican primary over the much-beleaguered incumbent Madison Cawthorn. Even President Trump's endorsement couldn't help Cawthorn overcome his self-inflicted wounds. Still, Tillis took a considerable risk that could have backfired, but he did what he thought was right for North Carolina. I admire that, so he's one of my winners. Another winner? Republicans on the State Court of Appeals. This one's a little obscure, but hear me out. Republican Trey Allen handily beat sitting appeals court judge April Wood in a primary for North Carolina Supreme Court. Had Wood won the primary and gone on to win the general election, then she would have vacated her seat on the appellate court. Democrat Governor Roy Cooper would appoint Wood's replacement, and as in the past, he almost certainly would have replaced a Republican with a Democrat. So Republicans would have lost a seat to the Democrat. With Allen's victory, Republican solid 10-5 majority on the State Court of Appeals is safe for now. Governor Cooper wasn't on the ballot, but he's also a primary election winner. After tying herself to Cooper in a campaign ad, State Senator Valerie Fauci won a hotly contested congressional primary in the 4th District. Plus, Cooper endorsed candidate Val Applewhite won a state Senate primary. Applewhite's win was particularly important. Her opponent was moderate Democrat incumbent Kurt Devier. He earned Cooper's wrath after cooperating with Republicans on some key legislation. Cooper showed that his endorsement matters inside the Democrat Party. Now that the primaries are over, what should we be watching? First, municipal races are coming up on July 26th. Watch for a slate of young urban conservatives who all won their primaries in Charlotte. They're looking to disrupt the Charlotte City Council by bringing free market solutions to urban issues. Watch Congressional District 13. The general election pits Trump-endorsed NC State football star Bo Hines against Democrat State Senator Wiley Nickel, a lawyer who served in the Obama administration. It's the only truly competitive seat. It combines Southern Wake County with all of Johnston and parts of Hartnett and Wayne counties. Our Civitas Partisan Index rates at a D plus one. And depending on the political environment, Republicans have a great shot of picking it up. Also, keep your eye on the GOP primary candidate who came in second in CD13. Devon Barber ran an excellent grassroots campaign as a conservative, happy warrior, husband, and father. We need more people like him, and I hope he stays engaged. Lastly, watch for Arabella Advisors and their pop-up groups. According to the Capital Research Center, North Carolina was Arabella's biggest target in 2020. The group funneled $9.5 million attacking Republican candidates Tom Tillis, Joyce Kravick, and Amy Gailey. And with its newest office in Durham, Arabella isn't going away anytime soon.